Let's uh, call Medios. Let's see if that works. Yo. Oh, hey, man. Oh, hey, man. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, what's up, man? We have a legendary match about to go on here. Is FlyQuest going to lose to the literal worst team currently in LCS and eliminate themselves from playoffs? What do you think, Medios? Mm, I think FlyQuest got this. Dude, can be playing Graves. We Wait, got a Lulu on TF. May. I don't hate it with this comp. They have a lot of damage. Uh, I mean, if it can lane, it looks fine. Can it lane though? E probably. Why not? I, I don't think TF's ever really had a problem of versus Yone. The lane. I don't think Yone smokes him. I mean, it's Q farms from off screen. Q farming off screen's kind of unrealistic though, isn't it? They like, don't <laughs> like it's so awkward. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's like worst case scenario if he's really getting shit on. I really have to highlight because I talk about this every time with Ivern. But if you can invade early and steal away camps that he's already channeled. Yeah, dude, like if Kai's just getting shit on, she just W farms off screen. Yeah, yeah, same cooldown. Just fucking mad chilling, getting like one CSO wave. Graves does go right over the back of the bear. Oh, he exactly done been spotted. No sweeper? Wait, this is actually so doomed for Spica. Unless he can even get it, runs by and smites it in time. I don't think... Can he, like, steal it from him? Like, just non-smite? Yeah, Spica got it. Okay. No, because he already had it harvested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, did, wait, did he smite or no? He did, right? Speaker got it, yeah. I actually don't know how it works. So, like, if someone's aggroed a camp and you have a full charge friend of the forest shit, what happens? Like, you can't slurp it or you can? Um, I don't know. I think you can. Without smite? So, like, did, didn't that, like, just finish the full slurp there on blue or no? Um, I think it was fully slurp, but he probably didn't know if Graves had smite or not, so he just smited it. Guarantee it. Because, uh. like, it was one auto out of smite range from Graves. Yeah. Absolutely out of control now. Mid lane as well. Vikla keeping up the pressure here on Balulu. Does that blue steel really matter that much? Kind of annoying. Mm. It looks whatever. Like, if he got it, it would have been good. Like, that's definitely the thing that sucks about Ivern. It's like, you... I, it's weird Kenvy did this without smite. Yeah. But, like, it also sucks that, that he was spotted. Like, this was good prep by uh, FlyQuest to have these two wards. Because if Spika didn't know this happened, he would have been so fucked. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's a playable matchup. <laughs> yeah, he could definitely lay no he died level four. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, was Velkaz not up here? Like, why are they picking TF when Velkaz is available? Um, you know, maybe. I mean, when I asked if TF can lane, I didn't imagine it was this bad. Usually it's like six where... Wow, that... <laughs> that barely killed him. <laughs> but I mean, he also kind of trolled it. He like walked up to a Yone with Q3. Like, yeah. He didn't give a fuck. Like, zero respect. Yone didn't really even want to kill him there. Yeah. Kind of laning normally. He was like, oh, wait, you're fucking dead. Yeah, I don't know. Bo Lulu's looked pretty outclassed in a lot of Immortals games. I don't think this gets better at six. For TF. <laughs> In fact, it yeah, might TF be worse. All, like, the matchup swing, <laughs> it, it flips in his favor. <laughs> TF just gets so much power. Are we actually hitting Dragon with this negative mid pressure here? No shot. 
They come through with yeah, I don't think that's the play. You just ult in, right? Like, we can hit this? Uh, uh, I gotta wait, guys. Uh, I mean, he's level 4 Graves, so he's kind of kind of big. That's sir. Double longsword? He's kind of thick. But he's unseen. On my fucking stream. You just see that? Uh-oh. Engage comes in. Speak is here. Oh, the TF! Hold up. He got cancelled. Christmas is cancelled. Oh, awkward. They did kill Alistair, though. Yeah, still went good for MT. You play any 2v2 yet? It just came out, like, legit an hour ago. Holy nope. Are you playing D4 seasonal? I logged in to, like, unlock the map and shit for my season character. I didn't really play Apparently, it though. there's some weird shit you have to do. You have to log into your old character to get like the altars of Lilith. Yeah. Like, I heard about how the that. fuck is anyone supposed to know that sort of thing to do? The game tells you. Oh, does it? Yeah. What? I mean, what if I don't read anything? Oh, oh. you might be cursed. Like, it's the last hit on the herald, but I don't think they're gonna be able to pick it up. Oh, impact! Going Giga on solo. Oh, he gets him in. Oh, gets out with there. Damn. Dude, wow, he actually killed him? Fuck. Yeah, what the fuck? The shit hurt. Maybe he's got like a BF sword. Maybe he's got like a Negatron cloak, like a, a really offensive item. Oh, Balulu missed the cannon with the Q. Nah, dude. Nah, Balulu, we need to step it up, bro. <laughs> dude, what if it comes out later? Like. Cassante just has this whack fucking like first item, dust blade or some shit, and then he just goes tank. But he's like crazy powerful with it. Yeah, man. What if? Yeah. I mean, I tried like some AD on Cassante when I was first trying him, and it felt like the worst shit ever. <laughs> so it was like, oh, mid diff. <laughs> Running first strike on Rumble seems really greedy, though. <gasps> Whoa, impact frag. Oh my god. Yesterday. He hits Comment? the plant, but he doesn't actually see them. I don't know, impact run. Oh, wait. Prince? Uh. I, uh. I guess he's against TF, so he doesn't die here. Uh, hold up, the gold card? Stop right there! Actually, wait, that is... Kind of an interesting synergy with Rel TF. Like, you use the E on TF, and then he speeds up to run at people for gold card. Mm. It, isn't TF a whole lot worse because the rapid fire changes? Yeah. Just putting AD on it, and then fucking making it more expensive. BDD played it today in LCK. What did he build? Wait. What the fuck was his build order? He has Everfrost, Lich Bane, but also has a static. Surely he rushed static, right? Yeah. BDD's played him four times. Wait, so what, what is BDD building? He's probably got the sauce. Was it just the Everfrost every time after static? He doesn't actually... He hasn't done static every game, so... Mm. He, out of his four games, he actually only built static twice. So it looks like he goes Everfrost every single time. Believe the other items are kind of up in the air. So he just rushes it no matter what? Looks like it. That's what Blue is doing. I believe he's going rapid fire a second. Yeah. Yeah. If Flyquest can deal with one potential fight, Balulu. Oh, fatty ult on Spika. He just gets exploded. Holy moly. I I'm actually like Rumble and Graves both benefit a shitload from someone just like getting stunned for two seconds like that. Yeah. So they are very good follow up to TF stun because they have like insane range and damage. 
Surely FlyQuest isn't gonna lose to fucking Immortals to get knocked out, right? Wait, is, isn't this an Immortals, like, I'm taking you down with me angle? Like, yep. Immortals win, sisters just both out? <laughs> Wait, Fly isn't out if they lose, really? I guess because it, it would be like Hunter Thieves losing out, though, right? There's a three-way tie chance of IMT win. Mm. But, I mean, all these scenarios are, like, rely on Hunter Thieves shitting themselves, right? With the already you're sending out a fucking TFT update? Patch. <laughs> the hell. I, someone was saying there was like an exploit in Soul Fighter. Who are doing? Really? Have not heard of it. Did you play it yet? No, I haven't. It's alright. Just. You don't lose any HP. You just. If you win, you get power, which lets you like have an extra option for items. And then eventually you fight a BO3 versus someone to die. Or win. Oh my god. Oh, Spika's getting banged, bro. Uh-oh. Miklas coming in. He only gets one with his ulti, though. Kenvi flashes out. IMT's kind of in. This is a chaotic fight. Oh my god. Who the fuck is winning? Looks like Fly is winning. Uh, it's close. Oh, he flashes in after Prince. No. I think he'll catch him. Oh. Oh, okay, he gets him, but at what cost? He's pretty fucking deep. He's on top of all of his feathers. Oh, wow. I think I think he should have ran down trying oh, to use wow. those feathers. He may have just been boned anyway, but... I think it was fucked, yeah. He had a lot of feathers in the ground that they may have forgot about from his ulti. He was doomed for sure. Doomed. This combo does seem pretty good. Maybe even just a rel. <laughs> rel rumble. Yeah, I mean, rel is for sure good, but I think... I think TF with rel, like... Pretty nice. Rel has insane follow up. Like basically, it's just all of IMT has really good follow up stuff with oh. TF, which I think you need if you're Dude. gonna run that champ. What? Bulu actually didn't react that gold card. Gonna like look, look these feathers that Tactical has. I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's just bone. Maybe he could prank impact. It was so close, and you can tell that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he doesn't have damage impact for those feathers to matter. Yeah, they would have relied on impact fucking up for sure. Oh, wow. Kenby just got deleted. Treats getting his dick beat. Oh my god. This shit's gone. Bye bye. Well, that was pretty good for Fly. Soul coming up in one minute. Let's see if IMT does the classic everyone bum rush to Dragon and then how does FlyQuest react to it. They're kind of like up in tempo still though. Wait, is this actually the Yone build now? This looks ugly. I, look, I think I've seen this mostly, yeah. Really? It's like I haven't seen Shield a second. It's so usually that or BT. I didn't get a chance to see a lot of his career in LCK, but with all the promise that we got I don't know. I like it. I mean, I feel like Yasuo Yone always do a shit ton of damage, so itemizing things that like help them not just get insta banged is good. Oh, Impact's playing this fucking aggressively. What the hell, Impact? I mean, when he ults, it won't really matter, but. Oh god, Bolulu? What the f. Uh, TP'd in there, I guess. Oops. Yeah, IMT, I think we give this dragon. He's got ult in sec. Yeah, I think we give it. I guess I haven't really seen the full development of, like, the Yone builds. I just know, like, since fucking the item changes for, like, Mythics, 
Fades. People were saying like Shilbo is just ass. But I guess they did nerf BT. And I think they slightly buffed Shilbo too. So maybe since then it's actually viable. In BT's ass. Because I mean, I mean, like BT was weird to build too. Because oh. He's fucked, no? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, never mind. Oh, and he's dead. All right. Mid laners, by the way. Oh my god. Impact? What? Impact? No fucking way? What the fuck was that? Let's see, what is Solo Kiyone's build? I guess it's a new patch, so there's not much data, but the build variations are Gale, BT, Shield Bow. For some reason, Kraken, IE, Shield Bow is the second most built. Kraken on Yone. Yeah. And then Gale, BT, Death Dance, and then Gale, Shield Bow, BT. Merc Trance bought 32 times. Berserker Greaves bought 3,600 times. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, Vikla's in a weird spot. Oh, do they know? I think Tactical saw him. I think Tactical saw him. I don't know. He's not playing like he saw him. Maybe he didn't. Vikla has a nutty spot, though. He's saying, dude, just, just fucking go. Just fucking go, man. <laughs> the perfect Kaisa poke situation. Nobody dodging. Everyone standing in a clump in river. Oh, surely they see him this time. Oh, Soul is getting jumped on. Doesn't look very good. Vikla's getting taken real low. Oh, Vikla's in. Oh, the all only hits Kenvy and he gets stopped. He's fucked in the dick. Disaster. Damn, all that posturing and that's the result. Vikla sacrificed himself. Sacrificed, in quotes. Sacrificed himself for no reason, but he sure did sacrifice. This looks gross. This looks horrible. Oh my god. Yep. We call that a BG. Oh my god, but it's still stealable. It's actually still stealable. They don't know. They don't know that they, he can see. Come on, Kibby. Just go. Come on, Kibby. Kibby, you fucking pussy! He tried. <sighs> I don't think he did, honestly. No, no. He, he, he was going for the blast cone to get in. Nah, but, like, why didn't he run up? He had to. He literally just sort of walked away from Alistar, no? From the top side? Why, why did he want blast cone? To jump in. Fucking use flash. You wouldn't get it. He's getting outplayed by an Alistar. It's so obvious. You literally wouldn't get it. Uh, I think I do, actually. I think it's a low chance you can get it, but... Yeah, might as well just, like, blow your flash and die. Fuck uh, it. You're not even a carry. Oh, oh, okay, so he's saving his flash for an important moment in the game. Let's see how he uses it. Let's see how his flash is used. Or we're just going to have the threat of our flash the whole time. Like 6A, maybe? Yeah, yeah. It's like, always available. You can never go on him because his flash is up. hindsight analysis is crazy. So hindsight. Really on his coaching arc. Yep, hindsight's so good here. All right, let's see. Flash angle. Pause champion. All right. He baits out their whole okay. engage. They're all baited. Now he's got flash. Oh! Oh! Unironically gets out. He by gets the way. out. Whoa! Unironically gets out. He's crazy. Damn. Yeah, I think maybe if he just flashed in and died at the Baron, it could have been better for them. Yeah. Uh huh. Ooh, that's a smoke box. If I've ever seen one. 
at least a couple you gotta follow up the gold card with the smoke box that ability is so broken yep it's easy like when you're the graves player it's easy to just throw it out like you don't give a fuck but when you play against graves and you get stuck in that bullshit you're like wow this is awful yep a little bit too much there in front of the towers. Teleport coming out. Immortals want to catch them. Oh, Pause solo champ. TP's in. He's looking for something. Not looking very hard, but he is looking. I'm pausing my champ as a dragon. When is Yenny's GA up? It's gotta be soon, right? Ooh, this actually could be decent for IMT here. Stop showing me the gold. -flash. Show me the items. Oh, wow, it's down. What the fuck? For a while. Wait, where did Yone? Oh, and that's the soul. It, it's not Yoni, that bad for Fly. Like, that makes Elder come up. I need to be top for this inhib. Not bad. Pretty good response. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's, it's triple inhib. I don't mind that. There's still no indicator in game for, like, inhib timers, right? Not really. I mean, it's just the spinning they color on this say thing. You can it, like look at the inhibitor itself and tell, but like nah, I swear, that, that, my shit's life, dumb. that shit is inconsistent. Yeah, like, it does not always show. That that is completely fake. Like looking at these, I don't see any indicator on them. Nope. Oh, impact though gets chunked out. Can they make something happen here? Immortals. The one's a minute ahead in progress. Like mid is a minute ahead of the top. And they all look the exact same. Yeah. Oh, wait. Impact? Wait. What? Tactical? What? Huh? huh? No fucking way? Treats goes down. Uh oh. I mean... Impact's just rolling back up with negative HP. I... I... Get... Oh, tactical! Going Giga! Oh my god. What can he do? He has fucking Cloud oh. Soul. Wait, he doesn't have Flash. He's uh... Oh. Alright. Unlucky. Alright. I guess it was Try. GG. Alright, FlyQuest hopes and dreams are alive. And I think Immortals is fudged after that one. I guess it wasn't right, TV2? horrible. TV2? Sure. Some weird decisions in that game. I mean, it was high pressure. Understandable. There was weird decisions. Like, they weren't horrible. 2v2, yep, it's on live, baby. Dude, it's actually so fucking random the amount of Tristana versus Jace we've seen this split. No bet. Who would have thought that'd be one of the most common mid matchups? Holy fuck. Three minute full clear Ivern, by the way. I'm waiting for the first pro player to come out and their name is Poop. <sighs> Poop, maybe Booger. Uh huh, uh huh, okay. How about Fart? Stinky Fart. Oh my god, is Blabber just doing him like this on fucking Ivern? He's going crazy. Oh, no, he did the thing. He did the thing where you, like, dash backwards with your Q. Oh, my. Berserker flashed over the wall for what? What the fuck, Berserker? Where's Medias' mic? Why is it in Narnia? Did you, Berserker flashed over the wall to, like, tickle them. <laughs> I saw him battling in the tribe rush. I didn't see him flash. How do you think he got there? Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. This looks painful. Simple rocket jump away, getting out of range of a flash W from Boogie. They're gonna try to make their way towards the dragon. It's still only 600 at this point in the game, so if Boogie can get in there. Maybe they're gonna chance for it. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! In that ass? Does he flash out? No. He is banged. Holy fuck! He's committed, bro. Oh my. He doesn't give a fuck. MNS splitting, just like Medios prophesized. MNS Tristana. Oh. I guess we arrow those. What was the desired outcome of that arrow? Uh, you know, stunning the enemy. Okay. Success, I'd say. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. 
Oh. Why is C9 contesting this? They want Luzed, perhaps? Mayhaps? Okay, I oh. guess they're losing. Huh. Who, but who's losing? TSM. What? How the fuck did that happen? They just botched the engage? How did TSM fuck this up? Let's see here. So the TP comes in from Fudge. Blocks the Poppy ult. We have no Ash ult. The Alkai ult. I mean, the they have like the no, tank. They're down three ults going into it, basically. They use all their spells onto a Cassante. Boogie gets Starwalked. It's probably the fact they tried to kill Cassante. I mean, they, they use three ults. Like, basically before the fight. Like, Ash for fun to his ult beforehand. They got the dragon. They just should have tried to leave, but they wanted more. They wanted to fight. Yeah. And it did not go very well for them. 40 CS up. Aphelios to Ash. Jesus. Just how the matchup goes, unfortunately. Jesus, fuck. Is he sitting on a shit ton of cash? Like, how does he not have an item and Ash does? See, this is what makes C9 good and Berserker good. He's not saying, oh, dude, I've, I've got my uh, my Gale Force in base. Like, uh, let me recall first before we fight. <laughs> He's like, yeah, our, my team as a whole is stronger. I don't really give a fuck. I'll recall when I see fit, bitch. Yeah. So he gets the Gale Force and two more long swords. So he was sitting on what? What's the combined cost for Gale Force? Sitting on maybe like fifteen hundred gold or something. Yeah, that that's like a really big mental block a lot of players have in games, especially if you're like a little bit behind. People will be like panicking so much about needing to be like absolute maximum strength. Yeah. And then there'll be some games where like you do take the fight and it goes badly for you, and then someone's just like, oh man, we shouldn't have fought this. Like I had gold. I like I should have based here. And then if your team somehow buys into that being the correct way to play, you just never fucking do anything. It's just everyone staggering in their recalls, waiting on their next item. It's just the worst shit ever. It actually, like, th that tilts me more than anything else in this world. Being subjected to that kind of gameplay. Subjected. Woo! So close, dude. Almost killed Daisy with the arrow. Daisy done got smoked. Yeah, I mean, there's times where, like, it is worth waiting for a spike, but also most of the time, yeah, I, mean, I think you don't. There are exceptions to rules, of course, but yeah. that shouldn't be, like, the normal. The normal should be, like, pressuring as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. Making the game hard for the other team to play. Because, like, if, if you play the bad way that Minus is describing, like, always playing for spikes, you just... You end up getting no fights, like, ever. Yeah, like, you, you never have vision control. Like, your your waves are probably never in good state. You're just... straight fapping. Yep. Man, uh, Spudge is the only one trying to defend the pink here. Uh, I think C9... C9 should have worked harder to, like, get rid of TSM's pink. That would have been so fucking cringe for them to contest if they... Because the bush disappears as soon as C9 loses vision of it. Like, you saw it. They oh, my God. Pink. Oh, big Aphelios ult. Boogie goes down. It's Jover. So does Sven. It's Jover. Yeah, and Sandy's looking dead. Fudge's going to flash it on Turtle. Oh, maybe running it down. Berserker flashes in. It's Jover. Oh, he gets some... Um, Blabber kill Hunter? Die to Ivern. <gasps> Ooh, sad way to die. Full ace. Purple gun OP. Yep, purple gun is broken. So OP. Wow, dude, what an achievement. 2286. Then, wait, is that the 19th highest? The 19th highest all time oh my God, bro. assists. <laughs> Wow. Like, I'm impressed. I, I almost want to say that that's like a tongue-in-cheek graphic, no? Like, who's sitting there backstage and they're like, yo, bro, he just hit an arbitrary number of assists <laughs> that gives him an arbitrary position on the all-time rankings. Let's fucking send it. Let's pop that shit up, baby. 2286? Dude, he just took 19th place. Let's fucking go on, sir. 
Oh my. But who is the 18th most assists? All right, 20 minutes. We're inside the base. Cloud Nine inhibitor down. All right, there's. Medius, I think the game is donezo. It's looking a bit donezo, I fear. Little donezo. I wish they had more like per game achievements, like individual feats you could do in a game. That like, I don't know exactly what they'd be because it's kind of hard to come up with it, but like. What if there was a thing for someone who, like, didn't miss a cannon minion all game? Like, what if they had an achievement for a player who, like, doesn't miss a cannon minion the entire game? <laughs> that's probably kind of rare. I don't think that's possible. Because, like, what even determined by miss a cannon? Like, attempted to go for? I don't know. I just think that it would be cool if League had more, like, individual achievement type things that players could get that are, like, actually really hard to do in a single game. That's not necessarily just relying on, like, your team shitting on them or something. Like, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, the baseball equivalent of, like, a perfect game for a pitcher, right? There have been, like, what, 10 of them ever. So when it happens, it's, like, super hype. Hold up. Sony just doesn't feel that good in that mode. Yo, I'm back. I had to take a sales call. Nice. And by that, I mean someone called me asking if I wanted solar. And I said no, and they said, can I ask why? <laughs> and then I hung up. Huh? Oh, nothing. They're recording your voice for their AI database. Don't even speak to them. I wouldn't doubt it, bro. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, they're putting closer on Viego, bro. This comp for 100 Thieves looks fucking horrible, bro. Where's their AP? Yeah, don't don't worry, guys. Uh, they have no tanks, just an Orn, Alistair, Sichuani. That's it. Will Double Plug go 0-2 at the start of the end of the week? At the start of the end of the week? What the fuck did you just say? <clears throat> I'm just making words up here, man. Stop listening. Literally stop thinking too deeply into it. I'm curious Focus what Douglas will do next season. Do you think he'll continue competing or be like, nah, this shit is a fucking cap? This shit a wash. He just joined the other washed up or tired co-streamers who couldn't make it as players. So they just blame everyone else who's actually good at the game. Yep, yep. That's us, baby. That's us. I don't know. I mean, like, even if 100 of these makes playoffs, like, I don't think they're going to make a splash. I see you did there a splash because like they're a thief and like they rob a bank and they jump off a dock and like they land in the water. And oh, dude, Vidya's seen it. He's actually seen how I've been connecting that. <gasps> that was a nice one. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, here we go. Closer's here. Oh, he's doing it. He's What's jumping he do? out. What's he do? He's jumping out of oh! oh, surely he's gone. Surely he doesn't live. He's dead as fuck. He's dead as fuck. Dude, closer, Wait, Viego? Oh my god, it's Why didn't actually over. Why did you pick up the Zir body? Oh, uh, well, Zir didn't have E, so it'd be kind of hard to escape. So? Like, why play Viego if you're not even going to take over their body after you kill them? That's like the entire point of the champion. That's true. He was part of the death. Dude, okay, so they celebrate assists, they celebrate kills. Why not celebrate the most deaths in LCS? Who's number one? Who's actually number one? No, ever. Ooh. Literally ever. I don't think it's gonna Who is the yeah, biggest yeah, feeder? Actually, uh, I'm curious. And, yep, if, if you had to guess right now, like I don't know the stat. Who do you think has the most deaths in LCS this split so far? No, not this right split. No, I'm asking a different question, you dumb You're bitch. ruining it. You're ruining it. No, your question's stupid as hell. People have different length seasons. Who cares? You're, you're useless. It goes Kenby treats Vikla? Really? I see Vikla second, but it, I don't know if it updated for the game today. I don't think I included his game today, so it might have changed. Oh my god. Palafox is in that ass. Oh my god. Why is my quality? Oh my god. Oh! oh! Dude, it's closer! It's the closer show! Wait. Do it! Do it! Oh! Holy shit! 
Why have they not been putting this man San Diego all split Dude, long? Dude, like, I'm not even trolling. Why? Why haven't yeah, they? Yeah, why? Why? So much criticism here. Closer stepping it took you 16 fucking games to pick a real champ. Split. No, no, you, he played Viego in that game. He did 700 damage. Fuck you. Stop ruining my goddamn agenda. How did we go back to sneaky game one? Game one, he was actually acting like a human being, and now he's gone back to being a fucking <laughs> mentally handicapped child. Didn't I ask some dumb shit game one? No, you were being pretty human game one. I was like pleasantly surprised. Some really stupid shit. Uh, well, it was short-lived, boys. Oh, I think the coffee hit, so. You were doomed. So it was like a glimpse. You were fucking doomed the second this caffeine that feeling, like, when you're talking got to your in my bloodstream. Giga Dementia, where they have, like, a day of clarity, and it's like, oh my god, they're getting better, but then they go right back and forgetting who you are. It's really just sad. <laughs> Closer is unleashed. He took Wait, the so collar off. if Hunter off. Thieves wins this, is FlyQuest fucked, or is there still a chance since they won today? Or do they literally need the, the full lose out from 100 Thieves? Let's check the numbers, Mason. FlyQuest is six wins. 100 Thieves is six wins. I think Fly's fucked, yeah. Because they're apparently both Dig and 100 Thieves are 2-0 on Fly. That is actually pretty wild. If you're imagine you're a fly quest, you drop the fucking bag, you get the best players and money can buy, and you get owned by TSM. Not even trying. <laughs> TSM legit hard phoning it in, and they whoop your ass. <laughs> Something went horribly wrong in fly quest. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's still gonna be some very tanky he gone. The Herald was summoned up immediately before the first one. I can tell you their problem was I'm not down. winning too many scrims. How do you know? Because that's a temporary problem. Like, oops, guys, we played too much troll shit in scrims this week because we were winning every game. Let's cool it down. Let's go back to picking meta. Uh oh, Dokla's gone. How you know? I'm watching him get owned right now. Oh. Meanwhile, weak siding the plug? No, this is Don't give up this wave. Don't give up this wave, double lift. Dude. Dude. So yes, it's a kill. Would you rather have your AD carry complain about getting weak sided or be silent? Silent. So you want an obedient little bitch? Yeah. Sure. Alright, how about your top laner? Silent. <laughs> how about your mid Highland. I don't want my team saying a fucking word. I'll auto mute if they do. <laughs> Just play your fucking champion and shut up. <laughs> Alright, so you want your AD carry, your top laner, and your mid laner silent. How do you, how would you like your support? Um, would you like him screeching for the AD they, carry? They can track flashes if they want. Like, if they want to overachieve, uh, like, I'll, I'll accept some flash timers. But outside of that, no, they should probably keep their fucking mouth shut. <laughs> Is there like a time limit on this agreement of silence? Oh wait, Palfox oh actually getting owned. Oh my god, he's fucked. Uh oh, here's closer his ear. Who do you think is better, his ear closer or Busio? <laughs> uh, probably closer. What if they pause and switch seats when closer takes over his ear's body? <laughs> Dude, that's the funniest fucking shit. Like, first introduction to Busio just whips out the Azir support. Yeah. Let me ask you, which one's better? I'm so good I can play anything. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Maybe I should just. You, I mean, Stick that's to some other literally stuff. The, the fucking, <laughs> the, probably the most common shit for pro players is like just believing that you can play anything. It's like pro, pro players have this idea ingrained in themselves that like having a good champion pool is a good thing. And so like they all want to believe they have like this champion ocean. But they just don't. I'm more worried about a, ch a player that says I can play anything than a player who's like, yeah, you know, 
I'm most comfortable on this, but like, you know, I can play this in this situation, whatever. Uh -huh. Players like, yeah, dude, just just pick me anything. And it's like, oh, so this champion you say you can play, you've played it twice in ARAM and lost both times. <laughs> yes, but like, I know what their abilities do, and like, hey, I can click the recommended items and like farm some minions and whatever. Like, uh, it's all good. <laughs> I see it most with like when some random champion gets played in another region. Like, I feel like Cassin is what it happens most with, where like mm. mid laner just like, oh yo, dude, you see caps without Cassin today? Huh? Maybe we play Cassin today? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, we, we have a lot of stuff we've been practicing. I don't think Cassin would be that good for us. We're like, oh, just see if there's a situation for it. The other team like inst like blind picks Lucian Bin. They're like. <laughs> Yeah, I could probably cast it in here, like, <laughs> and then they just go down like a hundred CS solo killed four times, and you're like, I mean, I didn't really get the ganks, like, I didn't have much pressure. <laughs> like, he was playing really aggressive the whole time. <laughs> if you were there to counter the third dive at level four, like, like I actually would have been fine. <laughs> That's so unfortunate, Medios didn't try to cover his cast in mid. Yeah. I would, I would honestly rather have a Kale mid than a Cassidy. I think Kale is like. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I would not be surprised if someone just started whipping out Kale. I think ever since she got that change to her ulti, where she can like auto really early on into her ulti, like she doesn't get locked out for very long. Like she, she's actually kind of busted. Hmm. True. Like I've seen this champ do some really fucked up stuff. Like get fed in my bronze game. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Alright, I'm playing Kale in Arena. Fuck it. He's perma banned, but yeah, play it if it's up. She's like debatably the best champion in the mode. Debatably. Someone posted, uh, I think it was Turtle. He did like one of his sponsored Blitz app tweets where it like showed the win rates of champions and. Having those flankers in him. Busio's coming from top. Quid has been spotted though. Let's see. What? Wait, what? Like Annie Kane was the highest uh, duo. What the fuck happened? What was that? Uh -huh. What? What? Fucking Quid just TP'd. Like, not teleport, but like. He got oh my god, closer missed the wall with his E. <laughs> is he really gonna let Dokla get away because he missed the wall with his E? Oh, oh no. God. Oh my god. That is so unlucky. Oh my god, somebody just like demolished one tap the tower. That was kind of crazy. Anyone, anyone. That's a, that's a calm right there. Look at that. He missed the wall with his E, so he doesn't have the move speed. The low W, he missed. Closer through the mist right in front of him. It didn't hit the terrain. He didn't have the haste from the mist while walking around. I think he might have been able to pick up. Alright, I'm going back. I'll, yeah, I'll pull back. It can be those small things that can make the difference in a fight like that. Obviously, we joined. Legit don't know what happened. Like. Oh, okay. I think I see it. It just looks fucking weird. Oh, it was a spectator bug. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell, though, like, watching it live. Yeah, I mean... Because he was, like, off fucking screen. Mm -hmm. How do you miss Viego E? I mean, it happens. It's like missing Camille into the wall. It's like embarrassing as fuck. It shouldn't happen, but it does. What's your game time? 25. <laughs> okay. Let's get some more numbers, yeah? I mean, it was 25, 0, 0, 8, 9, 10, oh my God. 11. No, I'm just curious what a Typhoon is. Oh, it's a, uh, it's an 80 carry mythic item. It uh, has a dash. It's a masterwork item. Oh, Contract's getting gigabanged. Pretty big affiliate assault, but he does not have the items to 1D everyone. And he's gone. Oh, what the fuck happened to him? Oh, this Typhoon was down. I think the Baron's about to go with it. I think so too. Dogla's not even going to bother coming. There's no way they can actually steal this. Ignore and Palfox were around. So I think it gave them the His Typhoon was down. It did just come up. Guys, I think it's Jover. 
is able to follow through. Don't lie. ever say it's Jover. I think it is callable. If I'm breathing. It's, it's Jover and you are breathing. FlyQuest is crying in their beds upon this result. Dude, it's just so unfair that they couldn't make playoffs after losing every fucking game. <laughs> like, why do 100 Thieves have to win here? We could have made it if they just lost everything like we did. That's Fuck. so sad. God, this format is just so unfair. Like, it's just so unforgiving for the teams that shit their pants for the whole season. God. It really is unfair. All right. Can 100 Thieves win this team fighting comp? I feel like Energy has a much better team fighting comp, but they're also really fucking behind. Quid landing some good poke. Oh, jumping on a closer. I don't know if that's the best target. Are the enemies poked yet? Wait, why did that Kaiser W use your name and shit contracts? Oh! Oh my god. Quid. Just keep poking, guys. Keep Quid's poking. He's getting poked. He's getting poked. He goes down. No, no, no. Keep poking, 100 uh -oh. Thieves. Uh oh. 100 Thieves literally don't have damage. Closer has to ulti out. Surely 100 Thieves just leaves here. Like, there's no business staying around. Like, yes, it's your soul if you get it, but you're not going to get it. You're all going to die if you go for this. Please, 100 Thieves. Please have some common sense. Just give it up. Okay, good. Good. We're good. All right. That's not good for 100 Thieves, but it is better than them all dying there. Guys, your W is doing oh, no, nothing. Like, how, they were hitting a lot of shock blasts and poke and shit. Like... How do they fucking win team fights with this comp? No cap. It's such a dog shit team fighting comp. It is pretty bad. They're like all AD. They have some CC, like not really tanky. Don't have good tank busters. Don't have good backline threat. Like, oh, what, what do they actually do? Poke. Have that proper pincer play that they were looking for. We're not poke. Teams are setting up for flanks. The best thing you can often do is preempt the play. Get a single reset and then GG. And that's exactly what hmm. did. I mean, FBI one. doesn't have a cleanse, so like someday somehow getting a one D onto Aphelios is probably the way they would win. No, you don't get that time. We're just gonna go. Oh. Contracts tried to swoop in there and find the glacier. I'd be so surprised if we could actually get in there. So that means that energy aren't gonna have that tool here. For well, but Meteos, Kaisa is AP. Yeah, man, she does a lot of damage. Like, if I'm a tank, I'm really <laughs> stacking MR to worry about this AP threat from Kaisa. Because Kaiser really W's point. hitting Sedge and it doesn't even move her health bar. Ooh. Energy gonna go for a flip? Against the poke comp. I don't think this is a good it's, idea. But it's I mean, dead. It's dead. Oh! Stole it! Wow, that's really like the worst thing Energy could do here. Uh oh! Wait! FBI oh, and dead. FBI dies. Wow, Energy really wanted 100 Thieves making playoffs. Let's Holy go. shit, thank you, Energy. Let's fucking go, Energy. That was a solid fucking throw right there. Holy moly. That was sick. That was literally what 100 Thieves needed. A uh, checks notes, a hard Baron throw into my AD carry dying with stopwatch flash available. <laughs> Guys, I know they're a poke comp, but I really think our only choice here is just starting Baron in their face and flipping it. I mean, like, that's pretty smart. I like it. Holy fuck. They're like... <laughs> that's wild, bro. That was truly, truly impressive. I knew they'd win. Closer, Viego. They get playoffs. They've done it. They made it happen. All right, let's go. Two v two v two two two. God damn, fraud quest is gone. So it's Jover for fly quest now. Yup. Dang. First pick Tristana, Malkai Renekton, looking pretty standard, guys. These look like completely standard picks. Hmm. Ooh, Viego, I just saw him win. Is he just broken now? He's just so broken. Yo! EG, new jungle? Yeah, this is their academy jungler. Yesterday, he played against Immortals, I think? Yeah. And they won. They think hashtag Armeo was the problem. Well, they're just testing it out. 
the base one is just a nice little friendly bee. You know, my favorite Jax skin is the... Oh, my the God. Jax, the yeah, I think, I think he, Jax is not yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, is he yeah. balanced? He just dodges everything. Yeah, Wait. Yeah, look at him, dude. What is going on? That's awkward. Is that Wait, easy? man. Why is Piosik invading with no smite, huh? <laughs> Where is Heimer going, bro? Holy fuck. He's okay. helping with the invade. I see. Oh, they want this shit. EG's committing. They got the full gang coming in. Oh, Piosik flashes. Uh-oh, Shaden's looking pretty dead. Ooh, both junglers go down. Both AD carries getting double buffs. Wow. Or, like, not double. One of them only got red. That just seems... I don't know, man. That, that whole sequence was weird to me. Like, I get the overall idea of Piosik. It's like, do your red side jungle, then invade blue so that you don't want your bot lane getting camped. So, like, you can test your jungler. That's That makes sense. That's good. But it's just doing without smite is the part that's like... Uh oh Bit of a question mark ping. Oh? Are they getting killed here? I mean, Ayla could legitimately go down. No, he's... Oh, they've got Silas coming in. <laughs> the fucking boys. Ow, Yon's taking so much damage. Oh, wow, nice patience on the flash there. Core actually blocking for his AD carry? No, but how is Silas everywhere in this matchup, by the way? APA? What's going on? Define, uh, I guess he held his TP and JoJo used his, so he got the move timer. Define it everywhere? Move first to the uh, bottom jungle play, move bottom to that play. Uh huh. He did get a play though. Any STP advantage, so. APA is doing well in that regard. Wait, who doesn't speak Korean? Medios? No, dude, he's half Korean. What? I speak fluent Korean. Yeah, he's half Korean. Yep, see? He's fluent as fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, APA! Oh, wow. They oh. exploded, Jojo. Is Piosik gonna get out? No. Oh. No, surely he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. One more stab. Okay, he's gone. He's been stabbed. Oh, but they get revenge. Damn, TL actually looking kind of fire. But their CS is not suffering at all for it. Yep, yep, doing a good job actually prepping those minions. You have to work really well together as that AD support duo to make sure that you're not messing those. Oh, shit. Oh Big my. engage onto APA. Ooh, this is actually an awful engage. They're about to just lose 2v3. APA jumps in on Ayla. Oh, my God. APA is going sicko mode. Wait, they're literally just, like, winning this 2v3. Uh -oh, Shaden's Summit's dead as here. fuck. Yeah, he's dead as fuck. He has one ult to try to get away. <gasps> Good angle to escape. I think he, yeah. Think oh my nice. god, he's out. Oh! 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 And he's caught. He could caught, actually. What are he doing over there? Wait, the only deaths on TL are Maokai at four? Holy shit. Yeah, he's absorbing pressure. Nice. What, what is a four death Maokai unable to do that a zero death Maokai can do? Nothing. That's yeah, right. That's he's a true. tanky little shit. That's pretty true. People just aren't ready to play Draven mid against Tristana. That's true. Oh. Uh-oh. Big ass rel oh engage. God, uh oh, all core goes down. Piosik. Oh my Holy. god, they're all down. They're just fucking deleted. A fucking slaughter. Damn, Ayla. I. I did. Fat rel engages are so satisfying to watch. Oh. oh. Wait, APA got arrowed with turret aggro. Whoa. Now he has to walk away. Hilarious. 
nice play there from EG. Ayla finds the angle. Wait, like a whole new champ to split? True. Wait, Meteos. Why were people playing her like this before? How did he get arrowed? Ash is... was dead. What? And his arrow's still on cooldown. What the fuck? Well, it's on cooldown because he used it. Oh my god. Oh my god. He caught the flash from Ash too. Fucking brutal. Actually, Q Max Ash. Well, ironically. I mean, that was a thing for like a minute, wasn't it? Yeah, dog shit thing. Mm. I mean, you you can do it. You can. You go, girl. What's bad about it? You did no cooldown on your W. And the W does damage? Tons of zoning. Tons of zoning. A slow. Oh. A fat fucking slow. It it zones them across a whole team. The threat of the threat of taking one damage and getting slowed by one percent is enough to zone. Them? Okay. All right. Yep, 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 yep. I see. Oh, he's the pro player, guys. Let him cook. Let the pro player cook. Is gonna play it safe. Is gonna be sitting back. Ooh. Topside Summit versus Revenge. Both ultis get popped. Who dies? Call it now. Fast. You're ruining your moment. Summit. Summit's dead. Oh, oh my no, god. I knew it. I you called it. fucking called it too late, bro. I called. What do you mean? I you called actually it. called it too late. No, I, I called. He died and he's dead. Like, I don't know what you're so mad about. Hmm. They get a kill on Summit. They drop the Herald. That's going to be the cash in for another turret. And that is going to be EG taking a gold lead now. EG has taken the lead. Oh. Flash out of JoJo. One egg left for Viego. Oh my god. Oh god, APA. <gasps> He's going to be okay. JoJo goes down. Clean up the kill. Now Team Liquid's gotta get all the way out. This Revenge is his favorite anime. Trying to collapse on these guys in time. They all have flashes. Okay. Good all by Trist. Surely no one dies here. Oh. Kyosik. Ooh, I think he's fucked. I think he might be getting his uh his sixth death here. Probably. Let's just Oh shit, what's this guy doing here? Oh, the phase rush! <laughs> no! Did Unforgiven actually just give him an escape? Oh my god. Nah, but, nah, but. Holy shit, PO6, too insane. What the fuck? Oh! Surely we're not just giving him the W and face rush in the direction he wants to go. Surely we didn't just do that. What do we do instead? I don't know. Not let him do that? <laughs> wow. Damn. Insightful, man. Just don't give him what he wants. Yeah. Uh-oh. Summit getting caught. A bit of a rare occurrence. Getting oh, banged. or is it? Oh, his Q. Wow. Just coming up. Wow. Guys, Sneaky's is being extra annoying today. It's kind of bothering me. I'm not sure what to do about it. How does that make any sense? He's not really contributing to the discussion. He's just kind of making noises and... Trying to turn everything I say into a joke. Uh, huh? Let's, uh... Let's look at this Baron, Medios, eh? Oh my <laughs> god. Let's look at this boater. <laughs> oh, they're getting... They're getting dicked. <laughs> they're getting dicked in the butt. <laughs> they're getting all dicked in the butt. <laughs> uh, dude. Oh my god, they dicked their balls. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Uh, what? That's some great commentary. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. They Thank actually you. did get dicked in the butt. They got their balls dicked. They really did get their balls cocked. 
Kyoshik early were they able to get multiple towers they're getting impressive man wow this actually went well for EG 5v4 YOLO Baron getting shit on in the pit somehow escape Kyoshik goes down again dude this guy doesn't give a fuck <laughs> I respect it. Like if you're if you're playing like a pussy on Maokai, that's infinitely worse than just running it down on Maokai. <laughs> yeah, that that is true. W is a bit of a suicide, but oh! Oh! Holy cleanse, Captain Jeku! Cleanse is actually such a big deal because now if TL that was a nice reaction. Captain oh, Dildo. TL's turn. Can Unforgiven do it? Yeah, Unforgiven do it. <laughs> a lot slower, actually. A lot slower. <laughs> Captain Jack rolling in his fucking grave at that one. Actually, Captain died of cringe. Legit, Captain Jack just had a heart attack. Did they, is Captain Jack's name, uh, oh, 56 from First Strike there, is his name a reference to, like, Pirates of the Caribbean? Or is it just unrelated? Oh, oh my hey, god. Core goes down real quick. Oh my god. Oh, Sheedan dies! Oh, oh my god, everyone's dying. This GG. looks like a cleanup for EG unless Summit can do something crazy. He gets the support. Does he have his second E? Is his dice Wait. up? Oh my god, that was close. Oh. Uh, Oh! Oh! He into the Counter Strike. Right through the Counter Strike. That was right through the Counter Strike. As soon as you force that cleanse, you know the play you're looking for here, and it's all about this deep TP coming in from Revenge. I think TL did a good job. TL sees where the Jax is coming from, so all they can really do is try to kite back. Oh God! <laughs> well, that was so awkward for Tris. Oh, that was a nice stun by Revenge. Legit both carries. Just I fucking bang him. You like Triss had an angle to fuck Kaisa there. Definitely had the range. I mean, it's kind of lucky the guy he fucking mm -hmm. ease Zonia's. Uh -huh. Has been able to preempt the play a number of times. You know, earlier in this game, TL were the ones that felt like they were in the driver's seat. But now, 26 minutes in, it's a 5k lead here for EG. It is two dragons to two, Baron spawning. And I think EG are just going to start it up right on spawn. Does EG, they yo oh, they are going to YOLO Baron on spawn. How does TL respond? I believe they know his body. They don't. APA has TP. He's kind of they far. They have to give it. They have to give it. Do they? It's Jover. They want to. It's Jover. Oh, Ayla's got a nutty flank. Going to go on to summit. Ooh, this is kind of a... All right, they get him, I guess. They're off Baron. Now they just hit Baron again? Uh -oh, oh, APA getting flash stunned by... Okay, by a Viego. Oh my god. Tristana's in. Everybody's dead. Holy shit, Sheedan is montaging is every champion right now. Holy moly. He's just gonna get beat to death with that stick. Uh, does Piozik win this? Look okay, why is he not running deep, through the bro. game? Looking kind of oh deep. Oh my god. Look at Revenge's mechanics. It's crazy. Oh my god. Wow, he smoked him. He smoked his ass. Every fight I see Corrin, he's just legit getting fucked in the ass, like doing nothing except dying. <laughs> Has he used his like altered grenade at all to look for picks or anything, or just nah? He did on the Baron. Core JJ, what is he? What is he doing well with this split? I mean, he hasn't been playing that much engaged this split. Four Rakan games, three Renata, three Milio, three Rel, two Thresh, one Nami. Oh my god! Massive! Oh wow, he buffered the Tristle. Oh shit, wait, Ayla missed the engage. But Renekton's Summit dead. Summit gets hard banged. It was getting fucked, it was getting fucked, he's Doesn't dead! Look too bad for TL oh! actually, they're fighting back. Oh! Tristana's fucking dead, it's Jover. Oh man, they're gone. 
Deshaun is the only useful damage dealer. Yon was shooting like 50 million autos, but they weren't Dude. doing anything. <laughs> so many auto attacks. Whoa. Let me go bathroom. I just tuned in. What happened to Armeo? Well, EG lost like four games in a row getting... It wasn't just losses. It was like getting fucking curb stomped every game. Looked like they were trying to lose. And they switched, and now they're winning. Not sure it was Armeo's fault, but um, that is how the events have gone. There you go, Gamba's up. Oh shit, the level one flash in? Is he gonna have to flash? Tomo could flash on him probably, trade. Oh, level two gank coming in. Oh, Poom is gone. Bye, bye. Oh, this feels so bad as a jungler. When you go for the gank, so you get behind, and then, like, Boom is obviously dead, so you don't go for that kill, but now you end up not even getting an assist. It's so much better for your bot lane if you do that, but for your own game state, it's pretty fucking sad. Dig wants to do the same thing to their opponents that was done to them, but they can't because River is down here. He has this coverage, and they're able to actually crash the wave. Oh, oh. River's uh, kind of capping, guys. Oh, shit. Who he's trying to help? He's Rakan. He's fine. What was River's goal? Dying? Flying into the double CC dudes? Yeah. I think dying was your only option, buddy. Is there any rel counterplay to rel QW? Can you flash poor Naka? Yeah, especially I think unless you have... She's far as fuck, maybe. Cleanse or uh, tenacity, I think it hits you. I think early game is pretty confirmed. You could flash that one. Does he have tenacity, though? Oh! He has ult. He has ult. Uh-oh. Wow, he actually managed to stay in his ult. Holy shit, wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Rich could get a big knock up here. Nope. Missed wow. Everyone. Unlucky. What? They all got scooped and got shit on? For the scoop? What in tarnation? Wait, Poom's dead. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Uh, I, don't... I think he gets out going that way. Oh. Was he not able to just walk back to his turret there? After the flip or what? Yeah. So what happened to Jensen here? It's ulted. Rich goes for the star walk, but he's still in the control. That's actually real depressing. So weird from Jensen there. Yeah. Was that just Jax that shit on Jensen? Kind of, but like... <laughs> I don't know, he was just walking around during the Kenadar. He was like really focused on trying to push them out towards the end of it or something, and just got beat the whole time. I don't know if there was much he could do, but... Sure didn't do anything. And then ulted. And then died. Oh, it's a poke Varus this game. Not bad in this situation, to be honest. Other teams very squishy, probably not going to get many autos off. Oh. Bye-bye. Uh, uh. Oh, and he goes down. Unlucky. I would be surprised if he didn't die there. His engages are so key, and the way this team works around them is amazing. And I'd also say, I feel like just mechanically, he's played way better this split than he has in yeah. a lot of splits, right? You know, usually when people talk about Hui, they talk about all of these intangibles that he's bringing, right? You know, he's, he's a great shot caller. He's a really good leader on the team. He's kind of an in-game coach. It's, oh, my God. Uh, well, right Barisol missed. He's about it missed. To some gold oh! Not careful, Santorin, for one, picking it up. Oh, Dig is getting surrounded. This looks pretty fucked. Tomo looking kind of dead. Out. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of dead. He is committed. Ult, Kais attack. Only happens when you have rank one ult, but 
does happen. Scrooge McDuck. How much does the range go up from rank one to rank two? In the coins. 500 or something? Boom's just trying mm. to get a, a scrap of gruel down there. It's pretty significant. <laughs> Look up the numbers. Uh, the it's more than 500. It's 750. From what to what? 1500 to 2250 to 3000. Sounds mm. similar to Nocturnal numbers. Oh wait, no, Nocturne's way bigger. Actually, it's just a thousand range on each of those numbers. 25, 3250, 4k. Oh. Is rank one Nocturnal's 2500? Oh! Uh-oh. Goodbye, Gory. W range? It's 3000. Okay, so... River invades, grabs another mark, so it's his third of the game. They are going to TP up towards top to answer that. Well, I mean, I think the weird thing about the Kaiso one is, we'll be going down, so like, trading back on the other side of it's the weird, like, you, you can go, like, the second you're able to be in range of Kaiso ult, you can ult anywhere on them. Like, it's not like, if you reach the outer edge of the target circle, you can only ult to that edge of the circle. Like, you can ult to the opposite side of them, if you can ult oh. at all. But, like, you, you can't ult to the inner part of the circle unless, like, they're the champion actually is in range. Yeah, you can ult anywhere within the circle if they're in range. Uh-huh. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's weird. You're just not going to put out any damage as this lethality Varus. I think it's going to be really difficult, but Licorice will have to respect this engagement. Oh! Uh -oh. Got the scoop. Oh, he's got flash still. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my uh, god. Oh, surely they get it. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Okay, Did he juke like everything? Whom gets the shutdown? Oh, Holy. Legit disaster. I mean, that was. Not a bad CC combo by Dig. It, it kind of felt like they thought he didn't have flash or something. Like, they went real hard for that while he had flash. Yep. Uh-oh. Holy shit, River survived. Maybe if Rich ulted first... Before the third Q? I don't know. Seemed pretty hard to actually make that work. DM, if Jensen got that, that would have been so much better. Yeah. Yeah, Puma about to fall there to Talia as Gory lets those Glacial is just such an awesome rune, man. Another Drake too, as River secures Drake number two of the game across the map. So poggers, bunch of shitty ice slow on the floor. Wait, wait. Oh, holy shit! The flashes. Oh, oh uh, team. Who he has ult again there? What the fuck? Swear to God, he just used it. Damn, Dig have no control over this game. They're just playing pure defense. Tomo's Ghost Blade is out. No ulti to be seen. Wow, that's awesome. The, let's wait and scale game. Oh my god. This duel. He says, I fucking hate Rich. One stun, man. One stun. Does Rich know? Oh! Bye bye. Ooh. Solo kill. Wait, six eight didn't get an assist. Oh, that's fucked up. The hell! It looked like the Q was hitting. At least, w wait. Oh shit! Golden Garden's getting in there. Gory gonna have to flash All right. out. All right. Stays in. Oh. All right. Uh, uh. All right. Oh my God! The Kindred Alt Cuck Santorin on his assassination attempt. Well, River's pretty in there. Doing zero damage. Yeah. Guess that said just pretty tanky. Yeah, 
Yeah, Licorice's job is interference. He's trying to keep everybody else away. Oh. Wow, bye bye. No way into the pit, so the Baron goes over to Golden Guardians. They did it. If somebody doesn't get kicked, I don't know. I mean, they are just slowing the game down, but I don't really feel like they're making m many efforts to come back. They're just sort of hoping Golden Guardian free throws it. I want to see some creative plays. Rage Blade Kaisa? Doesn't he know? He went Sork Breeze with Rage Blade, though. Oh, hmm. where'd Rich go? I don't know. Just died. Where'd that boy went? Uh-oh, it's a bot lane siege. Uh-oh. This is just a slow bleed out from Dig. Lifeless corpses sitting at their desks, sludge. waiting for to all leech over. Fucking sludge. Guys, can you end the fucking game? This to be on the midwave this year. Oh, midwave's coming in. Can we just end the fucking game, GG? Come on, guys. Let's stop goofing around. Let's group up. Let's push. Yeah, Maybe I mean, let's Dig's push mid. Such little cowards about it. Ah, ah, ah. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Watch. Oh my Ow. wait, Jensen's dead now. Jensen, watch, 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 watch. Luden's kills there. Oh True. But also again, the unravel girl from Talia just you you don't want to step in that because What do you even say in post game discussion about this game? They haven't tried anything. Probably talk about like picks or something that happened early game. <laughs> Clearly, they feel like the game has so been over for a long time, and there's nothing they can do at this point. Legit, it feels like after that level two Kindred gank bot, they, they've just like been quiet quitting the whole game. Melted back. Oh, there goes oh. Poom. Oh, hold up. Rakan goes down one for one. River flashes in. Not sure on who, but he does flash in. G G oh! Oh my goodness! Wait, Jensen's that fucked. Jensen's fucked. Oh! Holy shit! Was that? W Wait, flash? Rich is fucked. Rich is fucked. Boom! Six A's. Okay. Every W was a kill right there. Yeah, the, it was literally doing fucking forty percent, forty-five. That was crazy. Hi. Damage that he was doing. Hmm. True. All right. GG's. Golden Guardians first place. They actually did it. Time to go and watch Barbie. Barbenheimer. <laughs> All right. I got to take my dog out. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Peace. GG peace.